Hello, my friend, my name is Joshua Mugabe. I welcome you to Conjugation in Sparrojaila. At certain times of the year, the tubular structures grow out from each cell of a pair of filaments lying parallel to each other. The tubes join up and make a passage between each cell and its pattern. So we are looking at a sexual reproduction in Spilogyla and this type of uh, reproduction is called sexual reproduction. Now, here in sexual reproduction, we are saying that tubular structures grow out of each cell. First of all, we have filaments. There is this filament here, which is a spilogyla, and then we have this filament here, also a spilogyla. But now, parallel to that one, we have another spilogyla. This one here is also another spilogyla. And this one down here is what we have as our spilogyla. So there are two filaments growing, lying parallel to each other. So what is going to happen? We are going to have what we are referring to as sexual reproduction. And what is going to happen if you look at one filament, this is one cell. That is one cell on that filament and this is also another cell on one filament. And this is the second filament with its own cells. Now here what we are saying that, that the tubular structures grow out from each cell. Now if you look at this cell here, this is a tubular structure which is starting to grow here. And this one also is another tubular structure starting to grow from the lower filament. Then up here we are saying the tubular structures join up and make a passage between each cell and its pattern. Now we have this cell here. This cell here has developed a tubular structure which is growing out and on the other filament there is also a pattern very close to this cell. This cell here is now what we are calling as a pattern. It also sends out a tubular structure and that tubular structure they come and meet each other and then they make what we are calling a passage. Cells of each filament put out a conjugation tube. Now this tube here, this tube here is now what we are referring to as the conjugation tube. That one is the conjugation tube. So cells of each filament, they put out a conjugation tube, which is going to meet each other. Then the cytoplasmic contents of the cells of one filament then pass through the tube, which we are referring to as the conjugation tube, and fuse with the cytoplasm of the cells of the adjacent filament. So we are having here our cell up here. This cell up has sent out a conjugation tube and this cell down also has sent up a conjugation tube. So what is going to happen is that one of the cytoplasm of one of the cells, for example, this one up, its cytoplasm is going to go into this other cell. And when it goes into this other cell, 
now they are going to fuse together that's what we are talking about so after forming the conjugation tube the conjugation tube here is going to allow the cytoplasm of this cell to flow through the conjugation tube and it enters inside here and these two cytoplasm will mix with each other what we are referring to as fusing together the conjugation tubes meet and join up the side chloroplast starts to break down the cell contents become a gamut so what you are seeing here is that now we are having the cell content here and remember we say that these structures that we are seeing here we called them the helico helico chloroplast they will start becoming faint they will start becoming faint or they start breaking up when you look here you are seeing that now the helico structure or helico chloroplast is disappearing and the conjugation tubes now they have met up and they have joined each other so now we are seeing that the cell content of the upper cell is entering into the cell on the lower part and now they are going to meet each other and when they meet they are going to form what we are calling the gamut the cell content we are still saying the cell contents of one filament will pass through the conjugation tube and the nuclei fuse so as we can see here you can see that now all the content in this cell has entered here and the two cytoplasm content have fused together and when they fuse together now this one is what we are referring to as our nuclei they have fused it together and now they have formed what we are calling a nuclei although there is no visible difference between the filaments one is clearly acting as a producer of male gametes so here as we are seeing all of them they are the same this one up you cannot see a difference between this filament up and there is no difference with this filament down so they look to be like the same but therefore because one of the content of the cell has moved from up and it has come down therefore it means the upper part we are going to call it the pro producer it gametes it is the one which is producing now the gametes which are going to go down the zygote forms a wall around itself and becomes a spore which can resist adverse conditions like cold and lack of light so when the content comes from up here this content which came from up here and it passed through the conjugation tube it came here formed the cell contents here and they fused it together now they form what we call a spore now this spore this one is a spore but this spore it will form a wall around itself like for example if you're seeing here you can see this wall which has been formed this wall around the spore that wall which is formed around the spore now changes the spore from being a zygote 
to becoming a spore. Now this is a spore, this one is a spore, and this one is a zy zygote. So when the zygote turns or it forms a wall around itself, it becomes now a spore. And this spore can resist adverse conditions, very cold conditions, or there is no light, it can persist and can survive. When the conditions now improve, the spore will germinate to produce new filaments. So now our spore that we formed here, what is going to happen here, it is still in the old filament. The, the wall of the filament will break. This wall is going to break and it will release our spore. Now this spore, when the conditions become well, when the conditions become favorable, now our spore will germinate, and when it germinates, now it produces a new filament, which is coming to be our new spirogyla filament. Now the whole of this process is what we are calling sexual reproduction. And it is the one that we refer to as conjugation, sexual reproduction. Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for participating in conjugation in Spilogyla. Please do like, share, and subscribe.